Hey dude, Ian, great to see you again. And this time, not only have you got your normal setup, the normal setup, what you normally have, well, we know all about it. It's That's great. Not, We've I've interviewed got you. It's a Tolman. Not, not just a 205. It's a Tolman 205. Wow. With a pop and killer bonnet. That's awesome. I love 205 GTI. It's a great. It's, uh, a friend of mine's got one. I did a review on one. It's such a fun little car. Even today, they're just hilarious I mean, to drive. This is like, if you had like the best of the 205, yeah. this is it. This is it. The Tolman, oh. the Tolman 205. That's the one again. They, they make, take a 205, make it even better. Oh my God. We're and talking about making something better. What is this now? <laughs> well, the shove it chevette. Yeah. And it's, uh, yes, it's still been shoved in here. It's not on, it isn't powered. It's, yeah. The engine is placed in there, yeah. Yeah. but it is my project. It's, it's my... been going a while. I mean, I say, what is this? But I have seen this on social media. I mean, just the paint alone. I mean, that's been like a long running saga on social media. It's like, what's been going on here? Like, first so, you had to choose the color, then yeah. you just went back with the original one. Ah, no, no, <laughs> I didn't. Oh, no, didn't. no, 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 oh, no. Right. Like, yeah, so the Chevette Chevette, so this is a 1977 two door saloon Chevette. Uh, been in my family, my uncle owned this car. Um, so it's it was his car from new yeah. 1977. He spec'd it really oddly, though. Yeah. So no headrests, no passenger door mirror, but luxury inside. Yeah. He, yeah, yeah he was. Um, yeah, single all his life. Um, so he looked after this car. It was his car for as long. Yeah, I think it ran up until about 2008, eight, nine, and then it had to, the the garage basically said, "Look, we can't chase the rust forever. We need to. You can't. <laughs> you cannot. You know, this yeah. car is no longer roadworthy. Oh it's my not, god." You know, so it's not we, actually one piece anymore, is it? It's not. <laughs> two separate pieces <laughs> held together by rust. I mean, you know, Chevettes are notorious yeah. for rusting. Yeah. And this was a very rusty Chevette. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, this car started Christmas for me yeah. from however long I can remember yeah. up until my grand, my granddad, you know, my granddad uh, passed away in uh, 2011. Uh, we were always at their house for Christmas. And Christmas started when this brown Chevette arrived. Wow. My presents were in that boot. Oh. My, I remember getting the, <laughs> the presents out. And my, my uncle was meticulous, very uh. meticulous man. We knew very little about him, really, because he was a very private man right. as well. So we didn't, you know, we, did, we couldn't go into his house. We could only oh, get really? downstairs. We couldn't go into his office upstairs. Wow! Massive stamp collector, mad into his radio radios as well. Collector of radios, amateur radio. Um, randomly, well, yeah, he passed away in in 2021. Um, and when we were actually about to go into the house, uh, we found out so much more about this guy wow. that we never knew. So. In many ways, this car for me is is kind of. Well, how did you then end up with this car? So he wanted to get rid of it. Oh right. He wanted. You know, he he was like, this car is going to cause you no end of trouble. Yeah. You don't know how to build safe cars. Yeah. Uh, and he was like, he want he wanted it to be scrapped. He wanted it to be given away. Oh, right. And I was like, no, yeah. <laughs> no, I am. That ain't going to happen. Yeah. No, you're right. I don't know how to build cars, but I have friends who do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to use those friends. Yeah. I'm going to find out how to do this um, so I got a truck I, I a truck picked it up and yeah. dragged it out of the garage took it into storage it was stored in a couple of different places uh, and then eventually in 2019 uh, I decided right this is this is the right time to so you had it stored for that time yeah until now till now so then how long has it taken to get to this point because so this has been a saga itself hasn't it so 2019 yeah. uh, it went to DS Motorsport we did an initial investigation into how bad is it? <laughs> how bad? And I literally went around the whole of the sills. Yeah. Uh, the you know, Chevettes and it, weirdly, they rust in the boot in the yeah. boot because the water leaks in and it, yeah, and it of course. underneath yeah, yeah. the spare wheel. That's yeah. where the water helps. Um, so it was. It, they said it, it's bad, but they've seen worse. So oh, really? <laughs> so I still don't quite know. Well, you, it's hard to judge where on the barometer of bad that actually <laughs> exists. You know? Is that like, what does that mean? <laughs> bad, but it's seen worse. Yeah. So we start right. So all the the biggest thing that goes the front is the, is the front, yeah. the front seals. Um, you just can't get a parts either because everybody's after them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's course. what happens. Yeah, generally, if you've got a Chevette, you have another yeah. Chevette, which yeah. is the donor car yeah. for it. But the, the main thing is, is keeping the shell. Yeah. Like the shell was uh, is is the originality of the project. Yeah. I can't just go and buy another Chevette. This is this is the car. Um, well, it has to be. It has to be. It has to. Be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sentimental. So, 
But a lot of classic car stories come from that, don't they? Uh, that's what. Yeah. That's why we're all here. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is this is a. a but room. Cars have to have a story. They have to Cars, have a meaning. Yeah. Like yeah, and and um, so I was like, okay. So, you, and the thing is, once you've taken a car to a place, and you then go, okay, right, let's take it apart. Once you've got a car apart, it's you kind of you can't move it. It's kind of there now. Your point of no return. Yeah, you kind of going right. Okay, now it's apart. I can't move it because it's not on its wheels, and there's parts all over the place. Um, so we took it apart, and then the rebuild had to happen. So yeah. we went to a company around from DS Motorsport. They started the rebuild, the initial okay. rebuild. Uh, and then I put it out on the socials about getting it painted. Yeah, like yeah, where yeah, to, yeah. Cause that is a tricky question for anybody. Cause yeah. everybody's got their painter. Yeah. They've got people who they trust. Cause this is all about trust as well. Like That's you're it. putting your, your money, your memories, yeah. your thing yeah. with somebody else to do. I was just saying to somebody earlier, I was talking to them and I said, look, when you want somebody to work on your car, you want somebody that cares, cares as much as you do, because yeah. that's key. Yeah. That's key because you don't want to say, oh, it's just a paint job. No, it's yeah. the paint job. Yeah. It's the, yeah. And and the thing about it, yeah, this car was originally brown. Yeah, yeah. Copperstone Starfire is yeah. is the brown that Chevette's were. When it's metallic brown, that's yeah. what it was. Um, when it came to choosing a paint, I was with Andy at Vital. So it went to a, a place called Vital, and Vital do all the concept cars. Uh, they do all the stuff that you'll see at Gen yeah, Geneva Motor Show yeah. and and launch vehicles. Generally, are done by Vital, uh, but they are. So off grid, you won't yeah. even know them. All right. Like you will never hear of them because they can't talk yeah. about what they're doing because they're under NDA. Oh. So, so this is a project they can actually talk about right. because I'm talking about it. Yeah, You're yeah, seeing yeah. it. It's in yeah, public. It's everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've been following um, it closely. So, and I trust that Andy is a. Uh, and we talk about trust, like, yeah. great guy, has his own project cars, he's got a, a mint, Concours almost, uh, Fiat Chikichenko, uh, in yellow, in yeah. like, proper yellow, and he's gone to the point of even getting a Max Power sticker and a Game Boy, yeah. a Game Boy on the back seat. Yeah. So, went to Andy, at the right time, it was during Coke, after, yeah, I think between lockdowns one and two, or whatever it was, it was that time where, lot, Things were yeah. a little bit in flux, shall we say, but the car could be transported, taken over there, and it went to there, and um, and this is what we've. So where are we at now with it? What is it? What 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 is it? So, we're, so we're, we're I mean, not... this paint is amazing on this. You know, it's you can beautiful. swim in. So this is a Saab 95 color. Oh really? This is, this so this is... is not the original color now. No, this is a Saab color. So it's a yeah. copper metallic. But end of so keep it in the GM family. It's very right. important. Right. GM family. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Vauxhall GM. Yeah. So. Um, that's what I yeah. wanted. Yeah, there's, there's a link. Yeah. You know, it's not just going, oh, I'm picking this color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a proper color. Um, so, yeah, so that's why we chose this specific color. Um, and it's been wrapped, so not only painted, but raptored. So that's where the rust you know, yeah. keeps rust out is the raptor. So that's throughout underneath the whole thing has been done. Um, it was, I think it was uh, vital for Four, six weeks. Four, six weeks. Yeah, mm -hmm. he was there for a while. Two guys working on it. Constantly. How many sort of coats of paint has this had been? I, I, do, I, I can't remember yeah. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Yeah, but they also straightened out every single panel. Right. Like, every, yeah, the whole lot has been redone. Um, and then what we're going to go for is going for a Mazda MX-5 oh, Series cool. Two, 1.6. Um, so you, know, this is so the main thing is the engine came free with a car attached. All oh, right. So, I paid for the engine, but it came in a car. Yeah, yeah. And that came with the gearbox. The gearbox, yeah. And the electrics. So we know that the master. Also, oh, it'll be reliable electrics. <laughs> so, so it's going to have a, a Japanese heart to it. Yeah. We're going to make sure that yeah, that's you can start seeing here. This is what we're working on yeah. making it look like. Um, and then you've got the the gear linkage has been put in there already. So just moving it forward, but it looks really cool. Um, so next thing will be, it's already on Bilstein suspension. So it's got new new suspension down there. Oh, right. So, I mean- So this is a resto mod in effect then? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's yeah. Gotta, I mean, for me, it's, it's got to be a car that's usable. Yeah. Like I so want to be. Use it. I want to be able to get. What's the, the timeline on it now? What do you reckon? I think, look, 
I mean, it's already, yeah, like I got the car in 2012, so it's yeah. already been 10 years. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not rushing. <laughs> yeah, and, and I don't, I think it's right to not rush because, you know, like this man, he doesn't rush. Well, he does he doesn't rush. rush. Yeah, he wants to drive your Do you car. He's, he's waiting for it. No. He's not a man of many words. Many is words. He? No, do, no. Do you, what do you think to the Schwet? Do you like it? Yeah. Thumbs oh, up. thumbs up. Yeah, man. Sorted. High sorted. five. Sorted. Sorted. Yeah. Sorted. Sorted. <laughs> yeah. So that's cool, man. So what do you reckon? We're, are we going to see another year? You reckon or? I'm, well, so <laughs> buy my artwork, please. <laughs> <laughs> that's the please answer. Buy. That's the answer. Buy the Italian job artwork. Buy, it. yeah. um, okay, plug your artwork. Where can people find you? And I see you, you call it Shove It Chevette. So that's how people can find it. It's a Shove It Chevette. Yeah. I've, I've shoved it everywhere. Isn't that's I? it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've never actually driven it. Like I've never. Uh, no. I mean, that will be. Won't that be a heck of a moment? A car that you remember it, waiting for your presence in the boot, turning up every Christmas. The first time you get in uh, and turn I, the key. Like oh literally, when God. it was unloaded from the from the trailer the other day, yeah. I literally welled up. I was like, oh just to God. just to see it, like in this. I hadn't seen it in this condition. Like, I'd seen this it. is what cars can do. Oh. This is what cars do, right? Yeah. It's another level. It's, like, it's every, really hard to explain. Every time I look at this thing, yeah. I just, I, I literally picture my grandparents' house. Yeah. Like, I literally remember me peeking out of those blinds, yeah. seeing the car arrive. Yeah. No, and, and that's what it is for yeah. me. Look, look, there we are, look. <laughs> Stupid. Like, <laughs> Even talking about it. I feel like I need to give you a hug. Oh, <laughs> don't, don't. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and obviously, yeah, it's a labour of love. Like, yeah. Yeah, I know a Chevette is never going to be a Mark 1, Mark 2 Escort. Yeah. But doesn't I have, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, like, it I does have no association matter. to Mark 1. It yeah. does not the matter. The association yeah. to this is that it was Uncle Phil's. Yeah. That man was a man of mystery. Yeah. And I feel that we, we're, it's finding, amazing. You know, it's like amazing. we're finding out. I think the cars transcend. You know, you don't have to think about whether it compares to this or that. Or whatever. It, the cars transcend. It's the story, it's the attachment, the, it's the sentimentality. The, what I love about this is that nobody has gone past going, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a Chevette, they've gone. <laughs> they've just gone, yeah. the paintwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and that's, gorgeous. And that's what. Yeah. It should be. I and, I, and as I always say, brown is profound, so... Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well. <laughs> uh, yes. 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 There you go. There you um, go. Can't argue with that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, awesome. yeah, I mean, time scale, I mean, I'd love... Yeah, with, with, a, with a strong wind behind me, yeah. as, as they say, <laughs> I would like... What did you have for breakfast? <laughs> beans. <laughs> oh, beans. Uh, <laughs> Get it back here for the resto show. Awesome. On its wheels. Wow. That would be amazing. On its wheels. That would be amazing. Maybe with more electrics and a bit more stuff done. <laughs> Guys, we're going to catch up with, uh, with Ian when that happens. We're looking forward to it. You know where to follow him. I'll put all the links below, but this is an amazing effort. Great to catch up with you, again, buddy. And don't let me cry again on camera. <laughs> Jeez. I'm a. <laughs> <laughs>